This ramp at I-44 and Lafayette Avenue in St. Louis City is one of eight locations where the Missouri Department of Transportation is using Blinklink, a new and resourceful technology designed to stop wrong-way crashes. According to the Federal Highway Administration, these types of crashes account for only 3% of all accidents, but prove to be most fatal. Senior Traffic Study Specialist for MoDOT, Eddie Watkins, explains why Blinklink is needed. Our central office decided that they were going to do a pilot project because um, St. Louis was the top tier in Missouri for wrong way crashes, as uh, far as in fatals and severe injuries. Um, so at that point, we decided in November of 2014 to do this pilot project on I-44 in St. Louis area. And that's where we installed eight um, of these flashing runway signs at uh, various locations on I-44 in St. Louis area. This is where the rubber meets the road. I'm standing on one St. Louis area off-ramp where Blinklink, the innovative technology, is being used and tested. The hopes with Blinklink is that when a driver is heading the wrong way on this ramp, a series of lights will initiate, hoping to get that driver to turn around. It's an advanced messaging and notification system, turning wrong way signs into lighted flashing signs visible at night, when the Federal Highway Administration says most of these accidents take place. The Blinklink technology also includes radar, cameras, and sensors. Other locations where Blinklink is installed are the east and westbound ramps at Hampton, east and westbound ramps at Jefferson, the westbound off-ramp to Grand, and the westbound off-ramp to Arsenal. These spots were chosen after MoDOT did a study showing five fatalities and seven serious injuries from wrong-way crashes from 2009 to 2013 on this specific stretch of I-44. We've seen that a lot of the the, the wrong way drivers, um, the Lafayette ramp seems to be the biggest, where we're seeing a lot of wrong way drivers try to make that uh, the turn to go to I-44 westbound, but they turn onto the eastbound off ramp. And it's such a long ramp that we're trying to give drivers that added attention um, so they won't get on the interstate because it's a left exit and typically we don't have a lot of left exits. In addition to getting a driver to turn around, Blinklink then sends real-time images of the detected wrong-way driver along with notifications by email or text to MoDOT central office in Chesterfield. Law enforcement is then notified and messages go up on DMS boards for other drivers to be on the lookout. The Blinklink system is basically a monitoring tool for us to get those notifications and then send those notifications out to law enforcement, fire, EMS, uh, and try and get uh, word out to the drivers that are proceeding that way and let them know that they're the wrong way driver on the highway. Watkins says many of these crashes are caused by drug or alcohol impairment, while others are simply drivers getting confused and going up a ramp when they may think they are turning on an outer road. So is it getting their attention? MoDOC claims it is, and Watkins says it is a great system that they are seeing a great benefit in using. So we'll say uh, December of 2014, um, we've seen five uh, wrong way drivers activated by the Blink Link monitoring system, but zero actual wrong way crashes. So it begs to the point where drivers are turning around uh, on the ramp or they going a certain distance and being able to turn around because it's so late at night and not a lot of drivers on the road. MoDOT will be deciding whether to install Blinklink at more locations in the metro and it will review system upgrades such as lighted arrows in the pavement that turn red if a driver is going the wrong way. MoDOT always has safety as its number one priority. We would continue to use taxpayer money to address problems, common problems that happen to all Department of Transportation. So this is not just um, one thing that we're going to do and not do elsewhere. We're always looking for innovative ways to solve problems that are common to all DLTs. For Innovations, I'm Michael Daniels.